everyone, so it is time for another upload video. I know I say this every video, but apologies in advance if you hear any noises. It's the dogs or the birds. We are 25 weeks today, which is absolutely insane to think about because that means six months pregnant. And that means three months to go until our little baby is going to be here. It's completely crazy to even think about that, really. <laughs> um, things are starting to get a lot more exciting, mostly because everything with the tiny house is um, happening. Like the concrete's down and this weekend coming, we're actually gonna be putting up the walls. So it's all really, really exciting and a little bit stressful too because we have less than two months till we have to be out of this house and into the other one. By the way, the reason we have to leave this house is because our landlord's moving back in. It's not because we have been evicted or because we didn't want to live here. It's just because they moved back. But in the long run, living in the tiny house will allow us to save up more money anyway so that we can buy our own house one day. I guess I should probably talk about things that have happened the last week. Everything has been really, really good. I've been suffering from quite a bit of heartburn at night times, which has been absolutely horrendous. Um, and I try my best to go natural if possible. But at the moment, it's just at that point where sometimes I'd rather just quick fix so that I can actually sleep. So my lantern has come to the rescue. It's been recommended by every single pregnant person I've ever spoken to, ever. And trust me, it works. I would recommend it to you guys as well. One thing I have been finding is that sleeping is getting harder just to get comfortable. I do notice though that when I do yoga before bed and also when I spray my legs and hips with magnesium spray, it does seem to help. So I need to just get more into the routine of doing that and then hopefully my sleeping troubles will be over. Because I just get these big pains in my hips and I'm constantly tossing and turning all night. I will show you one really, really cool thing though that I do use. That is this weird looking thing. So I'm not sure how many of you have heard of the belly bean pillow, but basically it looks exactly like this. However, it's not, not as cool looking, so it wouldn't have spots on it or anything. And they cost about $85 delivered. And I thought, well, hey, you know what? I may as well just make my own. And basically, it sits like this. And sort of, when you're lying there, this will be under your tummy. Like, like that. So that when you're on your side, there's something supporting your tummy. And it stops cramps a lot. I've noticed because I feel like the weight of the baby is it's pulling down on sides and then one side just gets stretched and yeah, crampy. So I've been using this. I would recommend that if you are pregnant, you buy one, a belly bean, or you can cheat and do what I did, which was just looked at the dimensions of the belly bean and made one myself. It only took me about 20 minutes to do the whole thing. I feel a little bit like I'm getting more tired again, sort of like in the first trimester. Apparently, wow, I've got a frog in my throat. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> and now my voice is all croaky. But yeah, I feel like I'm getting a bit more tired like in the first trimester, which apparently is normal around this stage, but it can also be iron deficient. So I am going to be booked in to do a blood test soon because what's happening is a lot of people do the glucose test, glucola test, I'm not sure how many of you have heard of that, but I'm not doing that. Um, part of the reason is because it's full of heaps of really bad chemicals and I would rather stay away from that. And the other part is that you have to fast for 12 hours and then drink this sugary drink. And for someone who has been suffering morning sickness really bad and it has also come back which I'll talk about in a minute I don't well I know for a fact that I will not be able to fast for 12 hours and then scull a sugary drink instead of taking the sugary drink I'm just gonna do a blood test instead because you don't have to do any fasting 
And then, like, if they're that worried, I'll do the, um, the little diabetes prick test. I think you do it for maybe three days, and then they, it just sort of monitors your sugar levels a little bit. And then, as part of that blood test as well, they check all your other levels to see how things are going. So one of those things they will be checking is iron, and at least then I will also know if the tiredness is related to an iron deficiency. I don't think it is. I think it's just because... I'm getting closer to the third trimester and also because the weather hasn't been nice and it's warm in my bed and nowhere else in the house. Oh yeah, um, on the topic of morning sickness, I actually have started feeling really sick again in the mornings. It's been disgusting and so now as well I have to get back into that routine of making sure I have something in my tummy every few hours. Um, a few days ago, I had actually had a nap, and I think between eating the nap and then when I woke up, it was like four hours. And then I threw up my entire lunch. So that was really, really not very nice. And it, also that day, the baby was pressing down, pressing down on my bladder a lot. So of course, when I threw up, because when I throw up, I throw up. It's not just a little. Ugh. It's like full on, heavy blown, like poof, red face, tears in my eyes, can't breathe, throw up. I call it passionate throwing up. And because of all that pressure from the baby pressing, and from my stomach muscles and me throwing up, I accidentally weed a little bit. Um, that's really embarrassing to admit, but it's something that does happen and it's totally normal and I just have to keep working on my pelvic floor exercises, which I'm really struggling with actually because for some reason whenever I try and do them, I end up dry wrenching and feeling really sick. So I've tried heaps of different ways of doing them, um, yeah, and I'm still not having much luck at all, so I'm kind of... When I see my midwives next week for my first midwife appointment, I am going to just ask them maybe for some more advice on it or if there's a different way of doing it. I've been looking at yoga exercises to see if there's something there that might help, but I'm still not very sure how that will go. Anyway, it is a bump time. I'm in a dress today which might make it a bit harder for you guys to tell, but... These are my exercise ball as well that I've been sitting on. Here's the bump. Here you go. It's looking pretty big today. But yeah, as I said, this dress makes it a little bit hard. It's kind of a bit deceiving at times. But yeah, it's definitely growing nicely and I'm feeling kicks all the time, which I love as well. Yeah, that's the bomb. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.